Hey, you found us. This is the VoiceOver Gurus Podcast. Welcome. Welcome back to the VoiceOver Gurus Podcast. I'm Linda Bruno. We have exciting news for this fall. We have a new coach coming on board in October uh, to bring another set of expert ears to your performances. And our fall workouts are back, so make sure you join us. But if you're considering getting coaching, we offer personalized coaching to help you achieve your goals faster. Just visit our website, voiceover.guru, to get more info. So today's episode, definitely going to broaden my mind. AI has been on everyone's minds lately, especially with all the talk about the unions currently on strike in the hopes of implementing some regulations for fair compensation for actors. Um, But it's hard to keep up with everything that's going on. But I'm curious to learn more about it and some areas where voice talent can hopefully still stay relevant as we move forward. So in the hopes of expanding my knowledge a bit, please welcome to the podcast, Chief Revenue Officer of DeepDub.ai, Oz Krakowski. Hey, Linda. Thank you for having me. How are you? I am good. I'm good. It's, uh, well, I'm, I'm in Texas. It's pretty hot these days. It's, yeah. Know, where are you uh, in Texas? Uh, in the Dallas area. Dallas. Okay, I'm from San Antonio. Oh, so. there you go. Oh, well, are you right now in San Antonio? No, I'm in New oh. York now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah, what about... what drew you to Texas? So many people are going to Texas. I know. Uh, there's, the, you know, the, I don't know if you know, but the, the North Texas, specifically the Dallas area, is like one of the the leading areas in the United States for domestic immigration. It's incredible. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Experiencing amazing growth. Uh, mm-hmm. A lot of people are just moving in. Um, I came here uh, 16 years ago, um, working for Corporate America, uh, after uh-huh. traveling the world. I'm originally from Israel, I mean, you can hear in my accent, but... Um, uh, Where's I, your I, Texas ad- accent? Come on. <laughs> oh, my kids are asking me that, uh, you know, on a daily basis. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, we, we arrived about 16 years ago. It's actually going to be 16 in September. Uh, my kids were born here, but... Um, you know, uh, at the time was working for Texas Instruments that ah. is based in in Dallas um, and, and just decided to stay. That's what. So how long have you been? I think you're is this a family run business? Your deep dub dot AI? Uh, you know, I, I some some families start a business. I I'd like to refer to it as a business that, uh, you know, that is being you know, was created by family, not as a means to do a family business, but just as, yeah. to, you know, to do something positive or impactful um, and, and use our expertise. But uh, yeah, essentially it was, it was actually founded by my two brothers. Mm. Uh, I joined slightly after they created it. Um, yeah, but the company was established in 2019 by my two brothers. I'm what we call the sandwich, the one in the middle. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, uh, and it just happened to to be that, um, you know, after we're, we're not we're not in our 20s. You know, we're all right. you know uh, pretty seasoned, I would say. And it just happened to be that everyone took a totally different avenue in life. Mm-hmm. And we ended up at the point where everything collides and 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 makes a lot of sense in a way that you know it's like everyone has expertise in a totally adjacent or you know a, a orthogonal right. part of the of the business and so so combining efforts will, will made a lot of sense and uh, and 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 that's how we ended up you know uh, I was shutting down uh, I was in the process of shutting down my previous startup uh, that I founded. Um, and you know, due to COVID and stuff, you know, I, we had to uh, to to shut it down. But they just started deep dub um, just before COVID started, and uh, and it made a lot of sense for me to join them. In fact, when when I joined them, not the beginning, because I was more focusing on sales and and, and marketing and mm-hmm. you know the launch out of stealth. Of, you know, as a start technology startup, a lot of times you start in like stealth mode. You know. The, <laughs> and you're not telling anyone what's going on right uh, but but then yeah so i joined just at that point though it was it, it made a lot of sense at that point yeah so tell tell us what does deep dub do so deep dub is a generative ai company um technology driven but we like to actually position ourselves as a creative tech not a pure tech and i'll i'll, I'll, I'll i'm sure I'll, I'll get into that a bit later 
Okay. Um, and DeepTub basically aims to, you know, bridge the language barrier and cultural gaps of entertainment experiences, and not only entertainment experiences, but uh, ex- uh, uh, of all, any audiovisual content for content creators, content owners, broadcasters, mm-hmm. um, by enabling them to reach wider audiences using generative AI technologies, tools, uh, and, and, and uh, you know, very specifically the platform that, uh, that we developed. Um, and the idea is, and, and I'm sure we're going to touch this, that there's no doubt we're going to talk about it. Uh, <laughs> the idea is how can we, you know, uh, increase access to uh, regions, territories, people yeah. that, uh, that uh, traditionally would be, would, would not have access to that, to that content. And, you know, uh, everyone, when we talk about AI, and I, you know, very, if I touch this very specifically, you know, we're talking about AI dubbing and localization, but uh, which, which, you know, the first thing that comes to mind, or I'm a voice actor, you know, I'm going to lose my job. Right. Uh, right. And, and, and I would say, you know, there's, it's only true if I am doing your job, but if I'm doing something that you've never done before as a voice actor, mm-hmm. I'm creating a job. And the reality is that we are, an AI in general is creating jobs. Mm-hmm. Um, that's true that some things are going to change, but yeah, that, that, that's the reality of our lives. But right. the idea is, uh, it, can I use the, uh, the AI in order to create new opportunities and also enable at the same time enable other audiences that traditionally would not have would be excluded from accessing content and, you know we talk a lot of uh, a lot of time you'll hear me talk you know uh, in different podcasts on, on conferences and panels I participated um, about regions where there is almost no um, dubbing infrastructure mm-hmm. uh, and and uh, traditionally there's you know uh, dubbing is 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 almost like an exclusive club for 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 content owners that are that have the ability to do it, to the mm-hmm. ability to, to finance it, to manage the, the process. That sometimes is very complex, and it's getting better. Even with the traditional studios, it's getting better. They're getting more efficient. Yeah. Um, but but essentially, it's almost like an exclusive club. And and, and the example is like look at a country like Indonesia. There is like two hundred million uh, two hundred million people there. Mm-hmm. And very little content is being dubbed. Uh, rates of illiteracy are much higher than what we have, you know, in the Western world. Why would wouldn't we dub content there? In Germany, ah. it's exactly the opposite. A hundred percent of everything is con- is, is dubbed. Gotcha. Everything yeah. is dubbed, mm-hmm. right? But but at those rates, and uh, and, and and by the way, uh, 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 the capacity limitations, uh, it, it's not possible to do this for Eastern Europe or or. Southeast Asia. Mm-hmm. We have to find another uh, another way to do it. And if we can actually uh, create a job, because that job was not it, it, it was not there. But if we can create new jobs that are related to that, then we're actually creating jobs. Um, and it's an it's an interesting you know it's a it's a it's an interesting interesting fact that we are being approached. And I you know I just you know uh, right now it's ten a.m. for me and. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I logged in this morning, looked at my computer, looked at, you know, messages. I think I saw uh, about three or four messages, incoming messages from people from within the industry, either a dubbing studio or a voice actress. There was a voice actress mm-hmm. and someone else, maybe trust me, that are contacting us. And that's on a daily basis and, and trying to find ways to work. You know, how can we be part of, you know, part of this, you know, right. Uh, it, it take part in this exactly with, with this innovation how can we participate uh, i think obviously the big issue right now is the regulations on it that the voices right. are not misused or or used with unauthorized you know and that's what the union is fighting for um so right. i know you guys are part of a what is this the the trusted partner network accreditation your company has tell me about that yeah, so the the TPN or the Trusted Partner Network is a certification by the that was created by the Motion Picture Association. Um, it basically is a 
due diligence process that a company needs to go through in order to be certified to receive pre-release material. Um, so it, they basically audit, uh, you know, the, the security measures, the way we, 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 we treat people, you know, the way that people are, are being, uh, uh, you know, what are the, the security conditions they work in. Um, and the idea is that in the end, it means that when we work with, with a studio, with a big studio, we can have access. Um, they don't need to, you know, start doing another due diligence in order to verify that we can receive, you know, pre-release content. Gotcha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the more important thing about it, about the fact that DeepDub is TPN certified, is 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 a way of us solidifying the commitment to the industry. The idea is, you know, I, I could probably work with studios without doing this TPN certification, mm -hmm. but investing it, which is, you know, it's an expensive process. Right? We need mm -hmm. to pay, you know, pay people. We need to adjust our processes, et cetera. Um, but the, the, the idea of having it is a way of us saying, you know, we're trying to work with the industry. We're trying to work with the, you know, with the studios, uh, in a legal way, in a, in a, in an uh, in an ethical way, uh, work with you know with 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 dubbing studios that in a way are the employers in most cases of of oh, voice right. actors, right? Mm -hmm. um, work you know wherever we can also work with 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 uh, work with 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 the unions, you know, if we if if, if we can, if we need to. Uh, yeah. I participated specifically. Um, about a, a couple of months ago, I was invited by the the BFFS, which is the German um, Voice Actors Union. Mm -hmm. uh, I was invited to the Munich Film Festival to have a dialogue, to 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 give a keynote speech and 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 participate in a panel and have an open dialogue with with the understanding that we don't necessarily agree on everything, but right. it doesn't mean we cannot start educating each other. And I think how did it go? It went great. Yeah. I, I I was blown away. First of all, first of all, by the warm welcome that I received over there, and more than the actual participation in the event itself, the networking event afterwards, interacting and talking to voice actors, one on one discussions, some of them prominent, established, you know, people mm -hmm. that have been in the industry, you know, for decades, and and people know their voices and everything. And having that level of interaction, of one-on-one -on -one interactions, where I can, I can bounce off ideas of can I, can I, like you know, you have these projects, but you have off time. Can I, you know, maybe enhance your productivity? Maybe you know, maybe you can work remotely. Maybe I can do this. You know, start thinking of ideas of how I can, with technology, enable even you know, established voice actors to do a little bit more. To to uh, uh, to use the technology to their benefit, and again, obviously, we're uh, there's a lot, and I think that's the that's the key. There's so much. Mm -hmm. First of all, misconception, but the misconception is also guided by so much, uh, uh, for the lack of other word, uh, fake. You know, it's just a deep fake, mm -hmm. and the the concepts of what bad things I can do with it. Right. And and in some cases, it overshadows the good things that can be done with, with AI. And, so basically, uh, actors, voice actors, this is, you know, a process where we can still participate um, and are needed, you know, as opposed absolutely. to being obsolete. <laughs> absolutely. And, and you know what? Um, I'll tell you this. First of all, I don't think I don't think that for quality, for the high quality type of content, AI is going to replace uh, mm -hmm. replace voice actors or dubbing directors because we see it. You know, when you go to see something in in, in theatrical, you still need that acting. Um, you still need. You know, we did we did a test on the theatrical, and I looked at the way and we compared it to the traditional, and the traditional was really good. And we're like, wow, hmm. it actually looks really good. Like I believe it. You know, we saw it in English and it was dubbed into Spanish and was. They, without making any changes, you know, it's all people, dubbing directors did all creative work. Mm -hmm. The lip sync was really good. I'm like, mm -hmm. wow, that 
that looks pretty convincing. Mm-hmm. And, and there was no, no, you know, no need to to, to manipulate anything. Uh, even the voices were not bad at all. We're, we're, I, 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 let me take it back. We're really good. <laughs> the voices were really good. Not not bad. They were really good. Like uh, like they were representing. So, but this was a theatrical where budgets are limitless, mm-hmm. where timing is you know in abundance. You know you you can do every. You can invest, and the studio will invest whatever they need in order to get that quality because people are paying to see this in theater. Mm-hmm. Our, and our basically our goal is can I get to I don't even need to get to that level can I get close to that level and make it in other places mm-hmm. I don't need to go in theater but can mm-hmm. I make it in, in that you know the, the regions where there is lack of dubbed content uh, right so you're just trying to make it accessible um, and cost and affordable for someone to have their content right and, 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 and I still and I still need voice actors for the process hey I still need voice actors the, uh, but, uh, the difference is I may not need sometimes I don't need a lot I can just do it less which means that I can the rest can actually do more mm-hmm. right so that's how we can expand capacity by saying I don't need a lot of voice actors because I can do I can uh, uh, I I need a few that can give me a lot of performances, mm-hmm. and if I originally had to maybe have twenty voice actors in a, a a I don't know in a series, then the rest of the fifteen or seventeen or eighteen voice actors that don't participate now can actually do another series, right? Or or, or five more. Mm-hmm. So, so I can expand. So, you know, when 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 I talk to a dubbing studio, uh, it's it, it's it's a way of, hey, today you can handle one show, but maybe you can do with the same manpower, can do five shows, multiple shows. Mm-hmm. And, and, and that's how we're looking at it. You know, I, I there are still voice actors involved in it because the voice actors here in this case, what they do is one of the methods that we operate is they 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 contribute the performance so the ai cannot really create a performance that is to the quality of what a a, a voice actor can can create right at right? this point I mean, <laughs> it, 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 that would also with the lip sync in order to get to a really really good lip sync today ai and that's a i would say a pretty emerging capability of manipulating the video mm-hmm. so changing the lip movements Works. on the target language there are so many i would say legal obstacles there that i'm not even gonna get into that right because right. you know we're talking about changing, changing someone's voice and you know we have strikes just think about what we what will happen when we talk about changing someone's face <laughs> oh gosh yes i know that's the scary part you know when it's uncontrolled you know totally so the idea is first of all let's put it in control let's put the guardrails Let's all agree that you know what, understand what we're doing here, and 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 agree that you know it's not about uh, eliminating jobs, but creating new opportunities. Of how can I expand the capabilities of the existing voice or uh, voice artists uh, or the 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 the, the existing uh, infrastructure I have to dub mm-hmm. content instead of dub X amount, but to dub five X amount. Right. Got you. So now this is, I was reading also that you have um, like an indi- individual platform that creators can use. Right. Yes. So I think that's that's another exciting thing because, um, you know, everything I talked about so far is really in the entertainment. You know, it's like uh, right. the dubbing big for, for TV shows and mm-hmm. films and feature films. But there is really no reason why a YouTuber would not be able to dub their content and 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 they don't have the budgets like they would like to dub it themselves sometimes mm-hmm. and uh and, and there there's still there's still some limitations uh, to dub yourself I'll, I'll, I'll explain in a second but what we did is we released uh, uh about a month ago a month and a half ago we released a a new platform that is well, excited to say that actually this week it's available to everyone it was in, it was running a beta and right now it's available to anyone on our website and um that it enables pretty much anyone 
to create and dub content into multiple languages, your own content. So I could go online, upload my own video and dub it into Spanish and the platform will help me by transcribing the content automatically, creating mm -hmm. a baseline transcription that is normally pretty good, depending on the content, obviously, and and give me uh, uh, voices that are based on, from text. So uh, the text will be generated. It's, we call it text to speech. So that will be a mm -hmm. text that is, uh, or sorry, dialogue that is created from the text, but with the ability to prompt it for emotion, we call it. Uh, uh, emotion or prompt so basically i could say the text to the text i want it a little bit giggly i want it sarcastic or sad or shouting um, uh, and, and then the ai will create its own interpretation from the text mm -hmm. of what it means for that specific emotion it's just like or in a similar way of how you when you you know if you were on chat gpd or other ai conversational ai where you give it some text and it it understands from the context uh you know mm -hmm. what, what you're talking about what we developed is there is ai that from the text understands the context so it knows how to for example say when it's reading this is something huge with certain emotional prompt you'll say this is something huge mm -hmm. it will add a little bit uh, a, a little bit of emotion into it now it's it's by no means it's not the level of if I needed this to be specifically and very precisely, for example, following lip sync or or specific emotion, I don't have a control to actually say I want exactly on this letter gotcha. to be this way. Mm -hmm. um, but still, to the purpose of what it it's meant for, it, it's 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 pretty good. Now, where 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 can someone else contribute? You know, I, if I want to create. Um, a video and, and or I created a video in English and now I want to dub it into Spanish. Now I'm facing some some trouble because I don't I'm, I'm not a Spanish right. speaker. Mm -hmm. So I would need someone that actually can go in and say, you know, all right, this is a good translation into Spanish and this actually sounds good. Right. right. And we see from that perspective, uh, we see a lot of people that come from the creative community that are interested in contributing because there is a creative aspect to it it's not it's not your voice uh, here really but for for example for someone that did only translation suddenly they're able not only to do the translation or to curate and correct the translation they can also be involved in the adaptation mm -hmm. because now i need to make some changes to make sure that it falls within the timeline you know it's like uh, as a voiceover you're familiar with when you when you dub content, you know uh, German, for example, is like about on average twenty percent longer than English, where yeah. Spanish is 90, 85 percent of English, so a little shorter. Right. Um, so if you dub it into English, now you need to into Spanish English into Spanish. You need to fi you need to basically make sure that it's within the time frame, and right. especially if it's German, right? Mm -hmm. you have two segments of voice they could overlap in jar in German. But in English, they're okay, just right. because German could be longer. Um, so you so still that, need a human in input to and, make these things, you know, work. Exactly. Yeah, you still mm -hmm. need someone there to actually make se make sense of it. Right. Because um, something like badly dubbed, you know, winds up becoming like a joke, and it winds up becoming a meme, and um, you know. It's it's it gets around people get annoyed, you know, they don't want to they want to be involved in the story or whatever the content is it's, and not be distracted by, oh, there's an awkwardness in this or, you know, it's obviously an, an AI voice. You know, you need that human connection. I, totally. And, I, and, and you touched actually something very important. And I think that's the adaptation because making a joke in, funny in English or that that's that is funny and making it also funny in in Spanish and in in Brazilian Portuguese is is not a sim not a simple right <laughs> yes <laughs> because it sometimes needs to be entirely different but within the context uh, and, and machines there's a lot different. and dialects too I mean different countries have I mean even the United States has God knows how many regional accents happening you know how does how how do you guys handle all of that I mean that's a lot 
Um, yeah, the, it, it can be handled. I think in, in the end, uh, I, I could handle dialects. So you could, you could, you could uh, add, or in fact, in some cases, also eliminate. And we we had that request of, can I? I have an actor that I, you know, from studios uh, saying, you know, uh, we would like to remove accents from an actor. Mm. Uh, mm-hmm. But still use their voice. That, that those are you know that's that's an interesting capability that AI suddenly can it, do enables yeah yeah that the AI enables you to do that you know and 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 by the way going back to my discussion with German voice actors yeah was what, part of it was hey I can make you you know be able to dub in English mm-hmm. remove your German accent from English so now you have maybe more opportunities based on your acting not based on your voice interesting. That's so interesting. Now, the platform that you're making more accessible to, say, the YouTube creator, um, there are voices on that. Where are those voices coming from? Those are just text-to-speech voices that were hired at another time? Well, I mean, th- because we, we get auditions all the time for text-to-speech. Right. You know, voice actors do. And we usually get guided not to do them because sometimes the voice can be used for, you right. know, tons of things. So what is being used what you know where are the where do those actors or voices come from so and I, again you you're touching a great point here because um the the technology is out there a lot of people today can pick up the technology and say all right i'm going to create my own text to speech and i'm going to create a an amazing company that's going to do this and that and then they realize wait wait a second i need voices so mm-hmm. now let's go in and, and and look for voices where can i find the voices and I think this is where things start to become less blurry because uh, at that point you're you can if you're if you're if, especially if you're a studio you're like all right I need to talk to those that actually know what they're doing in terms of acquiring voices and getting those voices in a legal way keeping privacy you know uh, issues yeah. paying uh, 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 doing ethically making sure that people are aware of what they're doing. Uh, because in the end, what stops anyone from going outside, recording someone, and then using the voice? Right. Today, from a technology perspective, nothing stops them. This is where we're still la- we're still behind. We're still lagging in terms of, yeah. of the, the legal guardrails. What we did, at least the deep dive, I can I can only speak to myself because I'm not talking for for the entire uh, industry here. But I, I I can speak to our to the you know to to what we did, and I will say that. We put a lot of focus from day one of doing everything in a as you know as legal as can be, as ethical as can be. When we approach people and tell them, you know, we're going to uh, we'd like to actually uh, record your voice, or we'd like you to contribute your voice. Um, we get, provide all the information. They get paid for it. We provide yeah. all the information. Um, it's full disclosure of what's happening. Full disclosure. It, we, mm-hmm. it will not. I will tell you this because we're, I'm, I'm, I'm in discussions personally, also involved in discussions with you know with with some some with some with, with the studios that we're working with. We would not be able to have those discussions if we were not able to actually show evidence of everything we do. Mm-hmm. Everything is you know on the table. Everything is legal. Everything is you know we are GDPR certified meaning that we you know we we, we pass the the privacy laws of the uh, uh, european union which is yeah. you know it is, it's another uh, uh again a testament to the fact that we we care about privacy That's privacy great. laws uh we, we we spend a lot of effort on doing this the right way um but yes you will get and i there there was a lot of drama i know uh in europe around different companies not us thank god but uh different companies that don't pay attention to this kind of stuff and and you know try to sneak things in and it, it, you know it bites you back in the end so. i think you know right now it's still such a learning process you know cuz like the whole thing you know with uh, bev standing and tiktok and how her voice was used and you know and i was from her recording something years ago from another studio that she had no idea that it was going to be used again you know but i think as these legal issues come up it's like it it is in a way kind of starting to create some sort of like do's and don'ts um i think i mean it's slow but at least it's i don't know i I try to look at everything as a form of progress you know that there is some progress as much as she had to go through what she had to go through it's still kind of opened all of our eyes as to what was happening 
everyone's uh, absolutely she i think the key was that she was not aware of what it's going to be used for right and what is the duration and that's me <laughs> Millions, if not billions of people are going to use her voice and she's not getting compensated for it at all. Right. right. I think that's that that was what, you know, that was the key to it. Uh, um, and, and, and you're absolutely right where it's it's all it all feels like a little bit uncharted right now. Right. Uh, especially in the U.S. Uh, and, 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 you know, in, in, in certain territories, it feels like we're we're lagging behind, like technology is advancing so fast. You know, people yeah, it really are, is. You know, I talk to people and I'm like, oh, you know what? It looks really interesting. Let me follow up in a couple of years. I'm like, <laughs> it's going to be so different in a couple of years. This is progressing on a quarterly basis. This is like yeah. every every quarter we have a, 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 a you know a leap forward. It's not it's not yeah it's not step by step. It's not a, it's not a slow progress. Yeah, so, that's a little bit of the scary part. You know, I feel like you can't keep up because it's like every day you wake up and there's something else in the news about AI or something happening. I agree. I agree. <laughs> there's so much AI. Uh, you know, I, I I found myself using it uh, extensively, uh, you know, beyond what we do, but, you know, with, with other tools. Uh, in the end, and, and you know, it's it's interesting. I, I participated in a, in a marketing AI conference uh, a few weeks ago. And I was there on a panel, but I also listened. There were so many interesting things. And um, I, I think one of the interesting stories I heard was um, someone said, um, do you remember the days where we used to be invited to these uh, conferences about NFT and cryptocurrency? And a lot of people would go in and say, I believe this is going to be the future. <laughs> you know, and, 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 and the guy continued to say, with AI, it's not the case because it doesn't matter if you believe in it or not. It's already here. It's here, and, and, and it's happening. And 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 you have to, we have to find the way of how we can actually engage with it in a legal, ethical, but also meaningful way and 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 uh, efficient way. Uh, and I think one of the things we'll we'll, we'll figure out we'll, we'll see is that the AI human collaboration is going to be key. And you know, I'm. I'm Again, I'm 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 not a young person. I have kids, and I'm thinking about my my kids. You know, when they grow up, they're going to grow up into a an entirely different world. Yeah. Where right? I mean, where where you can you can just think of the idea, have eighty percent of it created for you in a matter of seconds, and then you can spend twenty percent of your time just perfecting it and making it yours. Mm-hmm. Um, it's incredible freedom. It, right now, now we need to for sure. There have there has to be you know the guardrails. It needs to be done in a, in a hard. lawful way and within the ethical boundaries. Um, and, and 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 you're absolutely right. The technology is progressing faster than what our legal framework is able to to to, to catch up. And I think part of it, uh, you know, one of the side effects, or one of the not side effects, or one of the 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 of the side effect, or what we see as a result is, you know, is mm -hmm. a strike where people say, "Hey, where the second? It's like we've had enough. Let yeah. me catch up for a second because we don't know what's going on." Yeah, yeah. Well, they're they're holding fast, you know, and hanging on and um, praying for some good results to uh, come from that. But it's. People they they rise up. They they have questions. They have concerns. They you know they don't just sit around and just let things happen. So that's a great thing about the the human race, right? <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. I, I I totally agree. I there needs to be some clarity, and and in the end we need to. It will be figured out. Again, I don't think. And, and you know what? I think that's also the, the 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 interesting thing. A lot of people thinking are you know the the actors are striking because they they don't want AI, and I don't think that's the case. I think that they just want to understand. Yeah. It's going to happen with AI. Yeah. No, I think everybody, anyone current realizes it's here and we have to figure out how we can still, you know, stay employed and, and work our way with it so we don't become obsolete, you know? So I think everybody, and if you're, if you're old school and you're like, I'm out, then you just wind up leaving the business and not even caring. But the rest of us <laughs> got to progress, progress or die. Yeah, it's true to all of us. I mean, uh, again, if you look at marketing today, you know, you used to have people, you know, that create po posts or SEO and stuff like that. And today you can do a lot of it with it's just like in, in seconds. Yeah. yeah. I want to write a, a blog post uh, and, and uh, 
we actually, you know, started talking to different marketing companies and in the end, it will take them a week to give me something that I can create. Yeah. Not, not as good, but very right. fast. But anyway, I need to eventually go and read it and proof it and, and do a lot of corrections. Uh, you know, uh, Put your personal touches in there too. A, a, in any way, in any case, I need to do this. Even yeah. if someone else is creating it for me. Uh, but still faster. <laughs> so yeah, again, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, I think these people that may think, wait a second, I'm, 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 uh, um, you know, I can, if they are thinking that, or, or let me say differently, if I could do this with AI and get something 70%, 80% good very fast, mm-hmm. then I will pay someone to do this and give me a 95, 98% faster. But if that 80% happens in five minutes, with, let's say some prompting and some engineering around, you know, finding, you know, playing around uh, in five minutes and getting 98% takes them one week, then they're behind. They need right. to catch up. Yeah. You, need to give me, you need to give me that 98% in, in two days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, that makes sense. Because you could get that 80%. If I could get that 80%, you should be able to get that 80% also very fast. Yeah. <laughs> better and do that extra work that you need to do. I think that's, the, I think that's where we're going, where the expectation is going to be that, you know, it's not going to, eliminate the work it's just going to you're going to expect it to happen faster Uh, Faster. everything is so fast as it is instantaneous i know and that's what's so crazy it's like it's gonna get faster and faster because because, well faster to the point where it's online you know this is where this is where we're going you know in the end uh, dubbing will probably be, you know, it's like will be a live thing to some extent, you know, in some in some cases, not everything. Again, uh, theatricals, mm. quality stuff is not going to be replaced. I, I don't think so. You know, it's it's people still quality. want their can, yeah, they still want their human connection in the exactly. performances. The or quality is again so high. It's it's not there yet. But yeah. but but for lower quality, lower tiers of types of content, um, you know, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah reality shows that are so complex to dub anyway. Mm. And, and right, reality shows are co- complex to dub or or live, where it's it's going to be hard to dub live, live shows, sports into multiple languages. Like, can you, yeah. can, you can imagine dubbing it into maybe two languages? But can I dub it into thirty languages? It becomes it now becomes you're getting a, a mm-hmm. tremendous operation. Right. Yeah, and, that totally makes sense. Wow. Thank you so much. I feel like my eyes are opened. And uh, realize it's it's it is not as scary as some people are making it out to be. We just have to go with the flow, so to speak. You know. Yeah, there's there's like everything. There's going to be an adjustment. There there is an adjustment, and we're we're experiencing it. It's it's across the board for for everyone. I, you know, our eyes our eyes opened once ChatGPT came into into our world uh, about less than a year ago, and everyone's like suddenly because everyone was talking about you know AI and AI yeah, for years. But suddenly, ChatGPT is there, and, and oh, wait a second, I understand. It can actually do stuff that would that that are mind blowing. Again, it's is am I gonna use it like it is? I, I can ask it to write an email. Am I going to take that email and use it as is? Absolutely no, no, that's right. not my expectation. But does it give me a few ideas that I didn't think about, or right. like gives me the language? You know, for example, I'm not a native English. Will it be able to use? more you know i can tell it hey be, give me a formal letter mm-hmm. to this and that uh, does it give me some keywords that i didn't think about before i think that's that's where it is if 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 people are thinking and that's where the misconception is where ai is going to replace us right it's i'm not, not finding that right we're now not, you know, we're, we're not in terminator uh, you know, <laughs> world know. of you know arnold schwarzenegger <laughs> You know, uh, saving the world. It, it, it's not needed. I don't, I don't think it's going this way. Yeah. I think there's going to be, we're going to learn how to collaborate with it and, and make ourselves useful within that uh, new world that is created because, you know, it's, uh, yeah, people, you know, humans are adapt. We, we, mm. we adapt, you know. We so will. It, it got, I don't know. It got uh, uh, hotter or or uh, whatever. We 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 change things in order to 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 we we, we shift, we move, we transition, oh, yeah. we create, to survive. We survive, mm-hmm. yeah. And, and 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 I think I think I think the the future, in my view, is 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 looking pretty bright. 
And, but there are some, you know, there's a, a bunch of things that need to be clarified, to be cleared, to be aligned, guardrailed, for sure. Guardrailed, uh, mm -hmm. uh, adjusted. We need to understand where things are. Uh, but, but yeah, um, I think, I think it's, 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 it's coming and we need to, to be prepared for it. Well, that is a positive note then to wrap up the podcast. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Thanks again for coming on, Oz, and sharing all of your knowledge uh, with us. Deepdub.ai, if you guys want to check it out. Um, or there's Deepdub Go, right? That's the new the new one that's out. Right. That's a platform. If you go on our website, you can log in on find that, that menu button. You can There is a free tier. You can give it a try yourselves. Uh, if you're a voice actor, I, you know, I... I I encourage you to go there and see, you know, and, and play with it and, and see it what out. it can do. I, mm -hmm. I think you'll notice that it still requires some, you know, some creative. That's why we call ourselves creative tech, because there is actually a lot of people from the creative community involved within from within the, the company as well. Good. That's great to hear. I'll definitely put the links in the notes as well, the show notes. So everybody can follow up on that. But again, thank you so much for coming on to the Voice Over Gurus podcast. I totally appreciate your time today, Oz. That wraps up another episode of the Voice Over Gurus podcast. Everybody, please have a great day. Thanks for listening to the Voice Over Gurus podcast. Real talk about the voiceover industry. Learn more about us and get coaching at voiceover.guru.